Hi, Christian Chudo here, Academy of Photography. Today, I would like to talk about only the aperture priority mode. We covered the time priority mode settings in a, in, in a previous tutorial. Today, I would like to focus only on um, aperture priority mode and what that does. This is a lesson for the beginners who are still trying to get a handle of the uh, camera settings and they are wanting to learn how to control what they're gonna get. So aperture priority setting is the setting that will allow us to choose the aperture size. The aperture is the hole in the lens that allow a certain amount of light. So what the aperture priority mode will give us is the ability to choose the aperture size. That comes in f-stops from f2.8. For this particular lens we can select larger f F stops, which F1.2 uh, uh, would be the largest I know. In this case, 2.8. The next next aperture in increments is 3.5, which is smaller. 4, 5.6, 6, 6.7, 6 and so on, between 2.8 and 22. The F22 is the smallest aperture. It will allow the smallest amount of light to get in, and the camera will choose by itself the time exposure, a longer time exposure. But today, as I said, I just want to test the camera what it does for each aperture size and I would suggest you to do the same. This will be basically your homework. Just take, take your camera and test it on aperture priority mode, which is the AV symbol on my camera. On your camera it might be slightly different. Test all the settings until you get the results. Just word of advice, the aperture priority mode will give you different results depending on the lens. So you will notice that the lens is actually the driver of the quality you're going to get and the differences and that will control the depth of field. It is not the same result with this particular lens which is a 24 to 70. I'm going to do a test also with the macro lens 2.8 and that is a fixed lens and the, the depth of field narrow and it's give, it gives me the different result than this one. Without further ado, what I'm gonna do, test the camera, show you the results and we'll talk about it after. All right, this is the experiment for aperture priority mode. Just to demonstrate uh, how that works, we have a 5D Mark II camera set up on a tripod and we have the following setup with a bunch of uh, glasses equally spread. You can see exactly the depth of field we're going to talk about. So we're going to test the camera in aperture priority mode. Switch on the AV symbol right here. As you can see AV setup. This is a Canon camera. Depending on your camera it might be slightly different. And we're going to test the 2.8. This is a uh, Canon lens with a 2.8 maximum aperture. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a shot uh, at increments 2.8, 3 4 4.0, 4.5, 5.6, 6.7 and so on and so on until we're going to reach the limit to 22. So these are all the increments, we're going to take a shot with each and we're going to see the difference. So we're just going to start testing and we're going to see the results. Just took one and so on. I'm going to modify the setting 3.5, take another shot. And so on and so forth. Okay, I just switched on to the actual DSLR filming. I'm lucky enough that my 5D Mark II will simulate exactly what I'm going to get. So at the moment I'm just uh, taking footage in high uh, definition mode with an aperture priority. So at the moment what you see is uh, basically exactly what the photo will be in 2.8 with the aperture is 2.8. So this is a 2.8 aperture, just proving the point. I'm going to move to 3.5 so you can see exactly how that reacts. Okay, this is 3.5. Moving on. 4.0, the camera, the camera will compensate the settings in order to have the proper exposure. This is exactly what the camera will do. Anyway, moving on, we are at 4, aperture is 4, 
8 and I would like you to notice that the first glass will become more clear 13, 16, 19 and 22 as you can see the image, image does not uh, vary in uh, brightness because the camera compensates the smaller aperture with larger time exposures and with larger ISO Moving back, so 20, uh, f22, smallest aperture, as you can see, the wide range of the glasses will be in focus and it will be sharper. Moving back, so just to prove the point, the first and the last glass will become blurry. Okay, we are 2.8. One more time, just to, to recap, 2.8, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5.6, 6.7, 8, 9.5, 11, 13, 16, 19, and 22. I think this is pretty clear what aperture priority does and how each setting will, uh, will get you a different result. Okay, we have switched to the macro lens. As you can see, I'm just playing with the focus at the moment. I'm just going to focus in the middle somewhere so we can see the depth of field and what is the difference with the different with the other lens which was 2.8 uh, 24 to 70 so this is 2.8 macro uh, lens 100 millimeter so just simulating further this is the 2.8 in priority mode uh, uh, aperture 2.8 moving on 3.5 4 4.5 5.6 6.7 8 9.5, 11, 13, 16, 19, and 22. As you can see, this is the different with a different lens. Uh, the results, the final results are slightly different, and that would prove the point that each lens will have its own behavior. In conclusion, aperture priority mode is useful when you want to control the depth of field. Remember, very important, the quality of the depth of field is given by the lens. So in order to get the nice blurry background for a portrait, uh, you need to select the right lens for you. Uh, the best lenses for that would be probably the telephoto lenses. Anyway, one thing you need to remember, by selecting the aperture, camera will select the time. So if you do not have enough light, the camera will select a longer time. So remember to have a tripod handy because you might need it. The best way to learn is actually practicing yourself. So grab your camera, grab the lens you have, test all your aperture settings on aperture priority mode, obviously, and see the results for yourself. <music>